Welcome to Tom's Tech Show. Today we are connecting to AWS from within PowerShell. Hey there, welcome to Tom's Tech Show. I'm Tom and today we're going to be covering connecting to AWS from uh, within PowerShell. So this helps you to automate and create a process around what you're doing um, in AWS. Um, one of the first things that we need to do um, is go to the download page for AWS tools that go plug into PowerShell. So it's simply aws.amazon.com slash PowerShell gets you to this page and then you'll download a file that kind of looks like this, AWS tools, SDK, Fournet, and a bunch of numbers for the version. Um, they do roll this every few months. Um, so it would be a good idea to check back and then update your system that's running the scripts, uh, do some tests and make sure that nothing has been broken and then roll that into a production. Um, okay, one of the things that we need to do um, after we have that downloaded and installed is we need to create a set of keys. So the PowerShell connector doesn't connect with a username and password. It uses a set of keys that allows you to get access to the system. So what do we do? Well, let's go to our AWS console, go to the IAM uh, module and go to users. Uh, we'll click uh, add user. Uh, re I named this one PowerShell just so I know what it is um, and give it programmatic access. Um, you can kind of next, next, next through some things. Um, you can add it to a group or set permissions directly, but it needs permissions to be able to do what it needs to do in AWS. So if you want it to be able to be basically have God mode and run everything in AWS, you can set that administrator uh, property. If you just want it to be able to turn on and off uh, EC2 instances, then you can do that. Um, so just set your your permissions to what you actually want it to do. Least amount of permissions first. Um, then at the end of this it's going to give you an access key ID and a secret access key. So on this page once you hit finish at the end of this page you don't get to see the access key again. If you need to create a new access key or have access to that key again uh, you'll have to delete this one and re-add a new one. Okay, so I've taken these keys and put them in into a MySQL database. Um, there's another video on how to connect PowerShell to MySQL. I'll link that at the end. So here's the script that I'm going to be using today. The first part, this top part here, is just simply connecting to uh, MySQL, getting the credentials, those keys, out of that MySQL database. So we'll run that. Okay, now next we need to import this PowerShell module that gets us our access to AWS commands. Um, if it's already loaded like it is here, it'll be fairly quick. I mean, if it's the first time that you've loaded it in a script session, then it's going to take a few seconds longer. Now we need to set the AWS credential. So we set that, give it the access key and the secret key then store that as default so that any command that's used in this session is going to use that key and that access. So let's run that command here real quick. It's actually not going to come back with an OK or anything. You can set that to a variable and see what the status is. Um, there's one more thing we need to do before we can do anything in AWS and that is set a region. I have a region set in my database so that variable is there so we're going to run that. So now we've set that to a region. So now this session here is connected to AWS. I can type something like get EC2 instance and hit enter and it's going to pull back my instance information. Um, 
And that's kind of how simple it is to connect. It's often not really straightforward in AWS documentation how to connect to these things and how to do these things. Sometimes there's many layers once we get to doing things like creating a new instance, how to get that information, uh, pull all the different variables out of AWS. That gets a little more complicated. But uh, now you know how to connect your PowerShell session to AWS and start running commands. All right. Well, this has been Tom with Tom's Tech Show. Thanks for watching and God bless.